Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at how to get started with Maple. When you open up a Maple document, it's already in math mode. What you'll want to do is click on text mode. This will allow you to write your name and the assignment number as you would normally do in a word or word processing document. Now, if you want to enter a mathematical expression, there are many menus along the left-hand side of the screen. To open any of these, click on the tab and you will see many symbols and operations available to you. So for example, if you wanted to write the set A, which has the integers from 0 to 10 in it, you could simply write the following. And similarly, you could write B as the set containing the integers negative 1, 0, and 1. If you wanted to express the union of A and B, you could simply click over here on the symbol for union and write the answer. Similarly for intersection, you could click on intersection and proceed as follows. Now, Maple has a wonderful help menu and we'll take a look at that. Suppose we wanted to find the prime factorization of a number. And we type in prime factorization and we don't find any matches. And this is very common in Maple. Often you will need to refine your search terms. So let's look up factorization. Here we find a command called ifactor. And reading down through the description and the options for this command, we find some sample code at the bottom. And this looks reasonable. This looks like what we wanted to do. So let's try this in our Maple document. So I'm going to copy and paste the command. And right now I'm in text mode. But to get Maple to actually perform some mathematical operations, we want to click on to math mode. And Maple did what I wanted it to do. Now suppose you wanted to find the prime factorization of 122 or the prime factorization of a number like 31. You can perform it as follows. Now, we are still in math mode. To get back to text mode, I just click on text or you can hit the Control T button. There are times when we want to insert a drawing into Maple. To do this, we will go to Insert Canvas. From here, you have a lot of tools to use. Let's click on the Line button. And what we're going to draw here is the lattice for the Klein 4 group. So I'm going to start making a line and double click to end that line. I'll grab another line, double click to end the line, and proceed as follows. I'll leave a little space so that we can insert the names of the subgroups, and I know these terms may not be familiar to you right now. That's fine. We will learn more about what those terms mean as we proceed in our course. But this shows the basic setup of how to uh, insert the canvas. Now, let's say we want to put some text into our drawing. We click on the text button, click where we want the text to be, and we can click V4 there. Similarly, we can hit text again and get Our text over here. And you can click and drag these things around so that the uh, drawing looks very nice. Okay, well, that is the conclusion of this video. Thank you for watching.